the Lord Almighty, grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High and abides under the shadow of the Almighty shall say to the Lord, My refuge and my stronghold, my God, in whom I put my trust. For he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He shall cover you with his wings, and you shall be safe under his feathers. His faithfulness shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of any terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, of the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor of the sickness that destroys at noonday. Though a thousand fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, yet it shall not come near you. Your eyes have only to behold to see the reward of the wicked, because you have made the Lord your refuge and the Most High your stronghold. There shall no evil happen to you, neither shall any plague come near your tent. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. They shall bear you in their hands lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the serpent you shall trample underfoot. Because they have set their love upon me, therefore will I deliver them. I will lift them up, because they know my name. They will call upon me, and I will answer them. I am with them in trouble. I will deliver them and bring them to honour. With long life will I satisfy them and show them my salvation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. You, O Lord, are in the midst of us, and we are called by your name. Leave us not, O Lord our God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. 
Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Father God, we pray for our world. Bring peace to those places of strife, remembering those who are dealing with difficulties and horrors of natural disasters. Bring them comfort and courage. We pray for our church and its community. We pray that our church be a place of faith, hope and friendship and that we are a beacon to those who seek your love. We ask that you support and guide our church teams as they perform their duties. Be with our church team in their discernment for our associate vicar. In our hearts we remember and hold close those who are sick and those who have departed to be with you. Surround them with your love and bring comfort to them and their families. We are thankful for all the joys and pleasures in our lives, the delights of your creation as spring approaches. We watch in wonder as new life emerges, the smile it puts on our faces and the knowledge of everlasting hope. These prayers we ask in your name, our Father God. Amen. Almighty God, give us reverence for all creation and respect for every person, that we may mirror your likeness in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord. Make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. We say together, the Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen.